this is a question I posed to you. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with Caleb Amisi um, that, in your view, could the problem be contributed to by the competency of those who have taken up some of these offices? Uh, uh, Caleb Amisi certainly raised some issues uh, that, uh, you know, he was speaking on behalf of very many people. You know, these days uh, when someone speaks, uh, there's a joke online that he says, oh, he spent the day doing the Lord's work. So I think the Lord's work he was doing was just airing the views of very many people. Uh, on the issue of competency and ability to do the job, uh, you see, the moment, it seems like since the coming to the position six months ago, it seems like they are very disjointed. There are so many moving parts and the things are not falling into place. And also remember that it is also, for me, it, the reason why Kenyans are really getting impatient, it just starts with how the campaign promises were made and how innovative and how promising it was that once we put the Bible down, all your problems are over. So the issue of competence could also be being out of touch with the average needs of your average Mwananchi. At a time when people are really crying about the basics, cost of living, it is the same. At one side of the mouth, we are talking about uh, lack of uh, money, empty coffers. But still, on the other side of the mouth, we are seeing very many creation of very many offices, office of the spouse, office of this and that. So is there no money? Is there money? The, it is this, it is that. It is so confusing indeed. And probably that is what uh, Caleb Amis was speaking into, that sometimes even incompetency, as he put it, was really wondering, are we moving in this ship together? Is it really about the average Mwananchi at the end of the day? And also the fact that on this other side, people are talking about basics. People are talking about food. People are talking about asufuria in the head. People are talking and protesting. And I just noticed, I noticed in the last protest, there were a lot of women in the protests, which is not really in their nature. To, women, it's not really in their nature to come out in the mandamanos. But there were very many carrying big sufuria. <coughs> so there is a huge, huge disconnect with the people whom ideally should be at the center of policies and at, at the center of uh, this development. The other issue really is that issue of money, expenditure, uh, as if to say that there are misplaced priorities, which one comes first. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed the opposition has been really keen on is the issue of subsidies. And one would ask, if there is no money to meet the basic needs of your average Kenyan, but then there is money to create very many offices that have been described as unconstitutional. One would ask, we as the people who elected you are not coming first. And yet it is expected that government development and policies should be pro the people. That's why uh, Caleb Amisi and many others are wondering, are we, are we together? Are we not together? It is like, as you described it, a perfect storm, a housing chaos confusion all over the place so it's really and i'm really tying this issue of economic the economic issues i'm really tying it with the current political unfoldings whereby we are talking about uh bipartisan while other uh, while the opposition is of the view that we should have an all-inclusive approach and i'm of, uh, and i think that makes more sense because when you are saying an all-inclusive approach you are saying we are talking to the people, we are talking about the people who elected us. In itself, actually all-inclusive approach is, a, is public participation in itself. We want to hear from different representatives of different groups. So, uh, if you are having the bipartisan approach, yes. Why are you focusing so much on electoral justice and electoral reforms? Which is a good thing anyway, it's one of the demands by the opposition. But why are you avoiding basic issues like food? Uh, clothing and the welfare of Kenyans, yet that is also one of the main issues that is bedeviling Kenyans. So for me, it's, it's a paradox. It's ironical. It is, it is very, it is confusing if you if you may, and it's confusing your average Kenyan like myself. But it's also con confusing the presidential ad advisor on economic affairs. So you can imagine how confused we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah.